The entire ecosystem have beca has become more complicated. And what was true 24 months ago, 36 months ago, is not true today and will not be true in 12 to 24 months from now. Hello, Timmy Naxo here, Executive Vice President and Co-Founder of Fortis. We are talking about payment facilitation, PayFAC, payment facilitator. What do all these terms mean? What is the best thing for your software, for your business as you move into this new future? I think one thing that we really want to pay attention to is how much payments have actually evolved, not only over the last two decades, but really over the last 24 to 36 months. As we went into the world of 2020 and COVID and post-COVID, a lot of things had changed. It expedited a lot of parts of what we call the omni-channel experience. That payments are not just one channel or one lane as it relates to our businesses, our software, and how we conduct and operate even as consumers. One thing that we've noticed is that there's been this uptick in requests for what people call payment facilitation or PayFAC, not to be confused with the facilitation of payments, right? So the facilita facilitation of payments might involve something as it relates to all of the different various ways that we make sure that we take you from your starting point in your payment experience, this guided journey, all the way through the growth of your platform, the growth of your business, and what is best at every single stage. We'll use a quick, fun example. I'm not feeling well today, right? People say, do not go to Google, especially doctors, do not Google what your ailment is. All of a sudden, you Google your ailment, you're like, ah, oh, there's 40 things that are happening, and all of a sudden, you became an expert in medicine because you Googled something. Similarly, in payments, we also understand that it's not a one-size-fit-all approach. There's not a silver bullet either. That there's a diagnosis that has to occur. A diagnosis that includes where you were, where you are today, and where you're going tomorrow as a software and business. And I say software and business interchangeably because many of us that may be a software provider also own businesses. Many of us that own businesses are also software providers. And the ecosystem is extremely complex as well as extremely adaptive and growing to be something that we've never, we never would have imagined 10 or 20 years ago. The ability to run a payment very quickly call it invisible payments, as you want to order something on DoorDash or you want to pay a babysitter or whatever that may be, has really sped up over time. So what people think is that is because of payment facilitation. A little bit of a myth there. When is it time to become a payment facilitator, a payback, versus going the traditional route of payment acceptance? Which one wins over the other? There are myths like, well, if I'm a payback, I make more money as a software. I board quicker. Yeah, that could appear to be the case. But when you do board quicker, what's actually happening is, is underwriting happening prior to card acceptance or post after card acceptance? What's that difference? For those of us that have used PayPal, used Square, Stripe, other payment facilitator, big name, elephants in the room, so to speak, those software experiences, those payment experiences, often don't give you the money right away. They actually put you in a situation where you could begin to accept payments, and once that payment acceptance begins, they hold the funds, and they hold those funds to verify that the funds are being used correctly. Why? Because once you become an actual payback, a payment facilitator, the merchant of record is one single account versus a traditional experience, each application, each applicant, each business is its own account and the responsibility is extremely different as is the risk. So while it may appear to a software that going down the payment facilitation model is the most 
valuable monetary experience, there's also ext extreme expense and risk that comes with that model because everything's under one merchant account versus many merchant accounts. What we wanna do here as a provider at Fortis or your provider is to ask the question of which is the best model for me? And guess what you're gonna find out? You're gonna find out that again, as I said earlier, there's not a silver bullet. Today, it is X, tomorrow it is Y. Or it is Z, which is a combination of both simultaneously. When you are in an extremely complex card present environment, with many point of sale systems touching EMRs, EHRs, property management systems, whatever business you're in there, any one of those that start to touch starts to become complicated. When you have different terminals at different points in your establishment or across your ecosystem, the payment facilitation model becomes less attractive for those scenarios. The larger your volume and the more service you might expect would also start to shift your decision on which route I wanna go in. So as a software, we have to understand where do you wanna be on your journey? I wanna run payments in the United States. I now wanna run payments in Canada. That's something that is extremely important today as we start to look at a more global experience. Today at Fortis, we made a real large effort to make sure that we don't only cover the United States, but also Canada. Chargeback management and chargeback mitigation the burden is on the payment facilitator to handle that. Do we want that burden on us or do we want a partner that can help relieve ourselves of that burden? These are the questions that we constantly ask and it does require an ambassador of payments to payments for you and for your business. It's extremely important that we understand this. Now, if you're a little local shop on the corner and you are doing things like we did 10 years ago, it's a very simple answer for you. It's a very quick explanation, but that's not what's happening today. We have e-commerce. We have card present retail experiences. We have card not present experiences uh, of moto mail order, telephone order experiences. We have app experiences. The entire ecosystem have beca has become more complicated. And what was true 24 months ago, 36 months ago, is not true today and will not be true in 12 to 24 months from now. So how we look at payments is that you need a partner in payments. This is very important. Whether it's Fortis or your, your, your local flavor, whoever that might be, you need a partner to help you on this guided journey because payments are that important to the ecosystem of how you run your business and how not only the consumer, but the businesses in general interact with one another. We're seeing ACH and start to increase while checks have decreased naturally. Paper checks, are they gonna go away? Yes, they're starting to. Cards on file are very important for us and making sure that we can run recurring payments. All of these things are extremely important to how we create a more positive experience for businesses, for the consumer, and ultimately for the software. Up next, Timmy talks with Greg Cohen, the CEO of Fortis, on our latest embedded podcast about the myths that surround becoming a payback. Um, I have a belief that there's kind of this omni-channel approach that there's not one train that you're really on, you're running you know, multiple modes of transportation, be it flight, <laughs> no pun intended, be it a train, be it automobile, a bike, whatever it might take, we need all vehicles accessible to us. So kind of debunking the, the myth of, uh, you know, payfac or that you have to be a payfac, you, you know, versus the facilitation of payments is something I'd love to hear your perspective on as well. Yeah, I, I agree. I hate to say I always agree with you, Tibby, but I, I do. And I think, uh, I think the whole construct of I have to be a payback got way ahead of itself. It was a buzzword. Investors picked up on it. Um, software providers picked up on it. And all this stuff got thrown at it. Now, where I agree with it, the, the concept is if you flip the terms around, um, that every most software providers should be a facilitator of payments within their software, right? Especially, I mean, if you're conducting, if you're doing commerce, you have to be do payments, right? Nobody, nobody wants to pay, right? People want to shop and buy. Nobody wants to pay. So, how invisible do you make it? How do you embed it? And how does it work? 
Um, but the operationalization of being a, you know, a, a pay fact, as it's known from a card brand standpoint, has a huge amount of overhead to take on, right? Underwriting, risk, compliance, AML, KYC, you know, everything from that to I, I got to understand how to, you know, drive adoption in my customer base, all of these things. Oh, by the way, and I have to authorize and settle and all like and some of these things can be rented from other people as well. But, you know, going full board all the way and being, you know, a registered card brand pay fact, like that's a lot of that's a lot of work. I mean, great companies like Stripe and I know, you know, uh, FIS bought a company called uh, called Payrix and we offer a kind of what I would call a managed, you know, facilitation pro program where you get the same experience, but you don't have to build out that operational infrastructure. And then the other piece I think everybody forgets about, and I always like to point them to some of the public companies. When you look at Lightspeed and they always talk about what percentage of their customer base is actually using their payment solution. Look, adoption is so important. You can create this amazing experience, but if nobody uses it, or you don't get enough people using it, it doesn't matter. And I think, you know, everybody assumed that the way that Square went to market was the way to go to market. You throw it out there, click to agree, it's all done. And if you think about where Square started, right, in the super micro merchant base, right, in areas like that, that kind of works. But as you move up into complex verticals, sophisticated merchants, businesses that want to and can negotiate, and you talk about how to solution in a true omni-channel environment where someone's got an ERP in the back office, a you know, a website managed by some other company on the in on their web, they've got a call center, and you have to make all that stuff work. That's not a click to agree solution. That's you got to get on the phone and solution and then you talk through it, it all works. And people forget about driving adoption. And so when I think about the operation, oper operational capabilities of payments, the adoption of payments, Right. And then the monetization of payments. Right. And so, of course, everyone, every software company needs to monetize in some way, shape or form. But all three of those things need to work in harmony. And I think people have forgot about how hard it is to do some of these things. And quite frankly, that not all merchants are going to do click to agree. And so you've got to create the right model for your software business, which is directly correlated to the type of industry and the merchants that you deal with. The Fortis team was privileged to go and visit one of our partners, Insoft, to hear a little bit about what happened during their acquisition, some upcoming products, and how payments are making an impact in their space. Check it out. John Boatner, General Manager of Insoft. That's what we're known for is being easy to use and being also affordable, which can be challenging. We provide hospitality solution software, which helps our clients to better manage their properties, uh, saving them time and money by making it easier for their employees to assist guests and hopefully leaving a lasting positive impression that turns them into repeat business, thus making them money. You know, check in, check out reservations, managing your rates, basically allowing you to know what's happening at your property at any given time. And then starting in 2016, we started offering Channel Manager, Booking Engine, and websites came a little bit after that. And so Channel Manager is where you can connect your property to online travel agencies. We connect with guest reviews providers, so Google, TripAdvisor, that kind of thing. Azure Cloud, officially this went through last year in November. We started seeing the actual, you know, acquisition part take place here earlier this year around February. What you know is going to bring for Insoft is resources. And uh, what that looks like and mostly is going to be cloud products, AI. Um, and when I say cloud products, I mean not just like a PMS, but also like contactless check-ins, uh, mobile guest relations. So for us and for our clients, it means uh, more features. All right, so uh, Insoft's newest product uh, is called Easy Absolute, uh, which is a cloud PMS, uh, which is uh, going to allow you to access, uh, just like many other PMS solutions, you know, any other browser really, mobile and desktop, to gain at full access to all your client data and uh, work offsite if you want to. Uh, it will integrate with hardware such as ID scanners, uh, credit card terminals. Uh, it will integrate with Fortis Payment Gateway. 
uh, signature pads, passport scanners. Um, it'll integrate with your website, with your booking engine, with your channel managers, the whole shebang. So we're really excited about it. Um, we feel that it's going to bring InSoft to that next step for the future. Fortis, by the way, has helped us out a lot. And we really appreciate Fortis, what they've done for us. We actually don't even do much marketing sometimes because of word of mouth, but also because of Fortis is there to, they do marketing and we join with them. And it's been great, great partnership. You can process from the software, you can process from the terminal. You have an online uh, website, you can go and look at your transactions and see your histories. You know, they offer terminals to our clients. They have a program for our clients, which uh, save our clients money. Uh, it's actually a selling point. Uh, so because it's built in, it's embedded into the software, there's, you know, there are actual screens for it where you don't have to leave and go to a website and do it right there. Uh, and you don't even have to use a terminal. You know, it helps a lot with uh, chargebacks. Payment Gateway should be able to provide you with, with tools to see what's happening in the background. You can support it. Ideally, the customer service has hours that are the same as your hours. But um, in the end, those are the most important things, I would say, is stability, the ability to support it on your own, uh, and customer service from the company you're working with. All right, welcome everybody. We are here at Orlando, Florida in Retail Now RSPA 2023. Here at Fortis, one of the things we like to really push is how we go beyond just the payment. We are, we're not just a EMV uh, gateway shop. We provide value-added functionalities, including text message receipts and text message invoicing that allow merchants to reach their customers from literally anywhere in their own pocket, making it very easy for them to, to solidify payments, reduce the accounts receivable, and increase their own revenues for their merchants, ultimately helping increase adoption significantly. Formerly Payment Logistics, now we come in as Fortis and we are showcasing the capabilities that we have from the Payment Logistics side as well as Fortis. We've been coming here almost 10 years, so it's nice to see a lot of familiar faces and be able to uh, showcase what we can do and the capabilities that Fortis brings to the table. So from the retail aspect, for example, we've been able to help increase adoption of merchant processing through in-app merchant account processing solutions. This allows the consumers, the merchants, to actually register for their own merchant services account directly within the point of sale system in minutes. This cuts down the boarding time significantly and it can take a merchant from application to processing in just a few days as opposed to weeks. In addition, our, our feature set functionality for retail merchants specifically are very uh, attuned to their needs. Our text message receipts are a great way for merchants to get in touch with their consumers on a recurring and ongoing basis. This includes things like customer service ratings, as well as just being able to reach back out to the customer in case there's a bad review. These can really help uh, kill the, the bad Yelp stories that can help really hurt uh, retail businesses that are around the market. And we also work with a lot of ISVs to help them grow their VAR channels. And one of the things we're doing here at RSVA is talking about how our solutions can help both direct ISVs that sell directly to consumers as well as their, their reseller partners reselling to merchants directly can use our technology to bolster their own businesses, create valuable interactions with their clients and allow their consumers, their merchants, to increase their volume by connecting with their customers. That's a wrap on Retail Now. Fortis has been proud to present to you all of what we can offer and we look forward to working with you in the future. Please visit FortisPay.com. Welcome to Fortis in the Field. My name is Oliver Stevenson. Let's get right into it. In a major recognition of their achievements, Fortis has been named a finalist for the Best Business Payment Solutions category of the 2023 Paytech Awards USA. This distinction recognizes Fortis as a standout player in the financial technology landscape. Fortis shines particularly bright in the Best Business Payment Solution category. Our cutting edge embedded payment solution has been instrumental in streamlining business transactions, exemplifying our commitment to solutions. The Paytech Futures celebrates the ingenuity and accomplishments of companies driving positive change in the world of payments and technology. Being a finalist in this is a testament to the Fortis dedication to excellence and continues efforts to redefine how businesses manage their financial operations.
The 2023 Framework TC User Conference from September 11th through the 13th at Encore Boston Harbor promises to be an exciting event. Fortis will be there to showcase their integration capabilities with Sage. And the Fortis team will shed light on how their solutions can enhance ERP systems, making payment processing smoother and more efficient than ever. And on September 26th, Fortis is teeing up at the Ahoa Golf Tournament, North Pacific providing an excellent opportunity for attendees to interact with their experts. Fortis is proud to be a premier hole sponsor at the Ahoa Golf Tournaments, and this event will highlight how Fortis is at the forefront of secure payment processing solutions that cater to the needs of the hospitality industry, from hotels to resorts and beyond. And for those of you who are interested in the Best Western Annual Convention, Mark your calendars for September 19th and 20 as Fortis takes center stage at the Best Western Annual Convention happening at the Hawaii Convention Center in Honolulu. At booth 739, Fortis will showcase their expertise in embedded payment solutions that seamlessly integrate with property management systems. Attendees can learn how these solutions can help hotel owners cut costs, mitigate chargebacks, and offer guests secure payment options. Additionally, Fortis will be debuting their chargeback prevention guide that equips businesses with strategies to prevent them with costly setbacks. And that's the news. Wherever you are on your payment journey, we wanna make sure that we meet you there. Make sure that you have an ambassador to payments, a guided, payments advisor that's helping you get to where you want to go. That architecture, that blueprint is hyper important, especially as we go into the future. Payments are becoming more simple. Well, that's true for the consumer. For us as software and business owners, not so simple at this point, especially to integrate. So getting the right APIs in place, making sure you're with the right partner that is growing as well. What is their growth path as a payment provider? Are they doubling down? on their, their software, on their experience, on their platform, super important to ask these questions. So whether you wanna be a payback or you wanna operate traditionally, you wanna make sure you pay attention to what's happening with chargebacks and the risk that it poses for you as you continue to grow. You also wanna understand, where am I going in this world? Is Canada important to me, the United States? Where do I wanna process in the future as we start to see this global economy continue to emerge? Shipping has become easier. Delivery has become more accessible. People are used to receiving things today and having an invisible experience as they make their payments and buy their products. Is your product ready? Is your service ready? Is your business ready? Is your software ready? Are you ready? Right Partner can help make sure that you are. Okay, good. <laughs> Actually, let me start again. And that's the news. And I gotta clean it up. It's a wrap, folks. Bring the champagne. <laughs>